That's how, before he was a Texan and before he was a Buckeye, C.J. Stroud was a Steeler. Yes, sir. A Pomona Steeler. A Pomona Steeler. Yes, sir. There, look at that kid on the screen <laughs> right there. Look at that fresh-faced. Was he 13 at the time? Is yes, that sir. What he was? 12, 11, 12, 13, he played in my league. As a Steeler. There's no denying the elite athleticism of C.J. Stroud. His poise in the pocket, running ability, and passing accuracy has made him one of the best quarterbacks in the league, in my opinion. I've been a Houston Texans fan since the beginning, and with CJ now at the helm, the future looks promising. In this video, I want to go back to CJ's days as a player under Snoop's Youth Football League and talk about the importance youth sports has on young kids, tying a few Bible verses that talk about how important father figures are in the lives of young men and women, and react to a portion of Snoop Dogg's interview that he had on The Rich Eisen Show. Again, this is only a reaction to what Snoop had to say. I will not be playing the entire interview, and I would encourage each and every one of you to check out the interview in its entirety. Please check out the description below where you'll find a link to the full interview on Rich Eisen Show. So let's get into it. I'm so excited watching these games, and I don't even watch for the, the win of it all. I watch for the thrill to see the, that these kids are grow, turning to grown men, and they playing big roles on these teams. And they're used to these bright lights because they were put in these positions as kids. So now when they get to the NFL in these bright light games, it's not a surprise that they're having these big games because they was brought up in these situations. 18 years is a long time to run a successful youth football league, especially in the inner city of Los Angeles. Snoop, like, obviously you want these kids to succeed, but you also know it's important to see them on stages like this so your youth league can, you know, continue and keep on giving the opportunity to a bunch of kids that are out there. What is it like for you to sit there wherever you're watching these games and see Stroud be the clear stud that he is and Dobbs coming up with a game that, you know, the, the Packers haven't seen since Devontae Adams was doing it for them. This is like, it's like a proud father, you know, because every kid that plays in my league is considered my baby because more than likely they come in as babies and they leave as men. So they may outgrow my lap, but they'll never outgrow my heart. So they're going to remain babies to me. So when I see them, watching them doing their thing, I'm just so proud, so happy. The fact that they stayed true to it, that they stuck to it, that they got good at it, that they studied, that they became great at their craft and not just took it for granted. And uh, shout out to them for being on their job and doing their job. Well, they certainly doing that. Do you reach out to Stroud every now and then? You it shows the testament and fortitude of Snoop and his unconditional love for the kids or babies, as he would say. We can get caught up in the wins and losses of the game, but to see these kids grow up as respectable young men is always the number one goal. Snoop is a proud father, and you can tell that being a coach and mentor is a humbling experience for him. Studying and becoming great at your craft is the key. Even if you've never played sports in your life, God has given each and every one of us talents and gifts, so we need to use those to the best of our abilities and honor God at the same time. We see firsthand that CJ is pushing a different narrative, which is positive. Unfortunately, Snoop shied away from specifically saying Jesus Christ in the interview, but that does not take away from the power that God has had in CJ's life. Stroud every now and then? You yeah, yeah. I seen CJ when I was in Houston. I had a show when he came to see me. Mm -hmm. And this was like in the preseason when they had lost a couple of preseason games. But I could just tell that he was so, you know, laser focused on what he was doing. And he's such a spiritual kid. He's so positive. That's what I like about him is that he's pushing a different narrative than a lot of these other guys in the league. He's pushing a real narrative of spirit, love, and just being a, a voice of, of positivity. Well, in terms of his personal life as well, I mean, a lot of folks might not know the story about him and his dad. And was, was that some, something going on when he was part of the Snoop Youth Football League? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. my, my guy, Coach Superfly, stepped in and became like his coach role model to assist with his mom and assist with his family. So, you know, in my league, it takes a village to raise one kid. And the beautiful thing is we have so many great coaches and mentors and people who value that these kids' time and, and put time into them. So when we see these guys successful... It's a group effort. It's a lot of people that put in that time and effort in. His ability can only be credited to God, and CJ will be the first to confirm this. Many inner city kids have lost loved ones due to violence, and the percentages are even higher in the African American communities. Not having a physical father around is tough, but thanks be to God that we have him as a spiritual father. There were many coaches and mentors who guided me throughout my youth, and I thank God for them to this day. God chose the language of family in the Bible, which he talked about being a father to the fatherless. It takes a village to raise a kid, which is correct. Psalm 68, 5 says, a father to the fatherless, a defender of widows, is God in his holy dwelling. God has a special place in his heart for the fatherless and orphans. Even if we did not have earthly fathers who treated us well, 
we must have an understanding of what a good father should be. God planted that understanding in our hearts. We all have a need to be loved, cherished, protected, and valued. Every kid longs for their earthly father to meet these needs, whether they admit it or not. But if not, God is standing at the door and knocking to become fathers over your life. God designed fatherhood. Unfortunately, due to the sins of this world, many fathers have chosen to be absent from their kids' lives. Again, thank God for Snoop, his youth football league, and all of the coaches and mentors around the world. Always remember that it takes a village. Please take a moment out of your day to check the full interview with Rich and Snoop. The link is in the description below. Let me know what you think, and until next time, be safe and always strive to remain set apart. Take care.